What's going on folks? Welcome back to another episode of Project Titan. Today we are going to be doing the handlebars. Uh, the beach bars are awesome, you know, they're cool, they're all right, I guess, but they're so wide out. Um, and I realized that the person that had me be had this bike before me, as you know, you know, Titan was something I recently picked up this year as a barn find. So we've been doing some upgrades some necessary maintenance and some little bit of changes here and there and kind of, you know, made it into a project now. So uh, one of the things is to uh, have a little, you know, better look and to have a little bit more control. So I think I'm going to change out these and I got me some meat hook ape hangers. They're just small ones. Hopefully they'll fit up with the uh, with the factory lines already. Um, so I don't need them too crazy just yet. First thing I got to do obviously is get all this stuff off of here. I have these chrome covers so they're kind of fiddly. I got to get those off. Um, but they should just disconnect, disconnect here and I can just toss them aside and put it right in. It's a pretty simple operation. All right, got the new handlebars on. Not bad. Took a little fiddling um, getting these factory lines. Um, this is a 10 or 10 and a half rise, um, and the factories seem to be fitting. Um, the only thing that doesn't, as you see, it's a little off. On the inside of these turns here, there seems to be like a little nub that locks into the original um, bars. So I'm just going to show you real quick um, what I'm talking about. This one is a little bit different. This nub is on the inside, but as you can see right here, this nub, it makes it so you can't, it doesn't fit flush against the bar. So it's like sticking out of there. So I got myself a file and I'm going to be filing that down nice and smooth so it'll fit nice and flush. Kind of hard to keep it right on that nub at first. It's kind of kind of wonky, but I got the screwdriver kind of next to it. It's kind of protecting everything else, but it's also allowing me to stay right on top of it so I can come straight down. And the curve of this will help out to get a nice, you know, smooth curve like the rest of it. I'm sure you all are like, ah, there's so many better ways you could have did that. I got a grinding tool, I know, but I don't have a plug out here. So here we are with a file. Doing it old school style. All right, so I got it filed down now. As you can see, that's where the nub was. And now, hopefully you can see that it is nice and level and round. So it'll just fit right around the bars there. And do the same thing on the other side. All right, so as you can see now, they are fitting nice and flush right across the bar. Okay, so for the left side, as you can see, Again, I have the nub, but it's on the outside. It's not the inner one, so it might be a little bit easier getting to this one, but. All right, second side or the left side is fitting nice and flush. Just need to, uh, you know, get them all to where I like it, and then I'm gonna tighten them all down and then put the chrome covers back on. So, got the handlebars, got everything fixed up, you know, all the maintenance and everything. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you what we're working with. Now, this is by no means the finished product. This is where I needed to get Titan to be at the base model of the bike that I wanted. So I'll just give you a shot now. This is her with her new paint job. It went all black. Um, some of you may already know that. Some of you guys already seen me out on her. I just couldn't wait to ride. But, uh, but yeah, she's finished. Big shout out to my brother again. Love you, bro. Beautiful paint job. She's so silky and black. She just has a presence now that, uh, that she didn't before. The gray kind of just blended into the background, you know. It was a cool design, I guess, but I just can't do the flames. Um, so just a little bit about it. Um, I went with the 10 and a half uh, ape hangers. Um, I apologize. I'll have the link in the description of the brand, um, but these are called the Meat Hook. Um, they're the 10 or 10 and a half um, inch rise. Got the chrome um, control covers on there. As you know, I already have the big old American uh, windscreen on there. Um, I put on the Cobra floorboards. So now it is rocking Cobra floorboards that are gonna make it a little bit uh, more comfortable during the rides. I have the Cobra pipes that are on there. These are the drag pipes. Um, I have the, um, I'm not sure what the year, they're kind of a vary of year, but it, they're basically street glide or road glide bags that I have attached. Um, 
and that's about it right now like i said this is the base of what i want it to be from here yeah we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff um i got you know some ideas and everything but this is where it needs to start from from a black bike from the the right parts and everything but there's one more thing that um you know well and also these here i'm just kind of trying these out i got the cheap ones just the plastic ones for now because i want to see how much wind it's really blocking um because like you said like i was saying before Jeff is just stretching out on his new road glide. So um, increasingly more need for a long distance bike. And uh, I'm trying to see, can Titan be that? Can it be the road, you know, the, the road warrior that I need it to be and be comfortable? So far, yes, it feels great. Um, and with these additions, it's feeling even better. However, we still got an issue with the distance. Still at about 100 miles, so I don't know what's up. Um, also, we got the uh, Kyriakin Hyper Pro Charger, and I got the Pro which is the old school one, early 90s, late 90s actually, that has the double intake. Um, it has two intakes in the back there, and it gives off a whole lot more power um, than the new ones. They have a single intake. Went with the uh, the clear uh, rear brake light with the LEDs in there. Went with the clear fronts. I didn't do the LEDs on the fronts yet. I got some ideas. I'm not sure about some, some lighting in the front, maybe some bars, but like I said, this is just the beginning. This is just to get my, uh, my platform of what I want to do next. Um, so from here, let the fun begin. So this is it, guys. This is Titan for 2023 and beyond. Let's see where she goes from here. So any ideas, let me know. In addition, you know, I have a question for everybody. Now, my concern is these pipes. Now, I just had a quick little thing. And please leave a comment down in the, in the section and let me know. Now, I have these pipes that come behind the clutch, right? Now, as you know, any uh, VTX owners, or if you've ever seen them know, they also have the one that comes curving around the front of the uh, clutch assembly. One is very round, which I'm kind of eh, iffy about. And then one kind of has like a, a squared off angle that comes around. I, both are, I think they're both um, Cobra. They could be Vance and Hines, not sure. But my concern is that this pipe gets extremely hot, like old school chopper hot, burned my um, first pair of uh, rain gear on it immediately burn myself through my jeans a couple of times so i'm trying to figure that out you know but if i go in the front is it not going to be burning my leg when i'm riding so i have the option of do i want to get burned while i'm standing still because this is in the back and it kind of is out of the way with my leg you know up front here if i get the one that curves around i'd be saving myself when i'm standing still but it feels like that pipe in front would be in my way while i'm riding so anyways um you know let me know guys you know what do you think so I'm going to get out of here because I hear Jeff coming, playing his elevated music on his road glide. So we're going to cut it here, guys. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you have these pipes. Did you burn the hell out of yourself? Did you not? Are they out of the way enough? Um, so that's my, my next probably uh, decision that I'm going to be making on this is what to do with the pipes. But anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like, and I'll see you on the next one.